All right. Well, I got the Life After Death double CD dropping March 25th. And I just I just want my spot back, you know? I chilled, came out with the Ready to Die. Everybody was feeling it, you know what I'm saying? And I rested for two years, worked on the Junior Mafia. Lil' Kim, now it's time for me to come do my thing, you know? Like, that's how I really go down. When I started my album or whatever, you know, I, I was rolling with a bunch of little dudes, you know? From around the way on the corners or whatever. And I was like, yo, once I get on and get my foot right where I need it, I'm gonna leave the door open, put y'all on, and that's on y'all to bum rush it. You know what I'm saying? You handle it how you wanna handle it. If I can't make them write rhymes, I can't make them want it. You know what I'm saying? If it's given to you on a silver platter, you can't always expect it to be given to you. You know what I'm saying? I took the hungry members. I took Lil' Kim. She was hungry. She wanted to do her thing. She writes. She was like, yo, I need to get my joint out. They feeling me. I'm like, yo, I'm with you. Put it out. Right now, we got another hungry rapper, Lil' C's. He's trying to do his thing. I'm putting his joint out. After Mafia decide, after seeing Kim with her platinum album, and after seeing C's with his gold joint, if they feel like, yo, we need to get our stuff together and work on a new joint, we can get started. Until then, I'm going with the money, man. When I was on the corners reading the write-ons and the word-ups, I was just thinking, like, everybody got along with everybody. Heavy could go hang with Salt, and Dana Dane could go chill with Kane, and everybody's just loving everybody. It's not like that. It's about getting your own. If you're with your family, you stick with your family, and you get your own. You know what I'm saying? Associates and friends are two completely different things, man. Keep your friends where you got them, and keep your associates where you got them, and be all about your paper, and you'll succeed. I don't really look at them as snakes, though. I look at them as people that's just trying to get theirs, you know what I'm saying? You can't really be mad at somebody that's trying to get theirs. You just got to figure out a way to dodge them and get yours. You know, everybody going to always speak about something when they're all the way over there. But once they get right here, they're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we ain't together no more. She just had a baby for me or whatever, you know. But we ain't together. We cool, though. We tight. You know what I'm saying? Just the relationship ain't work out, but you know, we're gonna always be together because you know, we got a little shorty together, so that's the, gonna be the happy part of me and her, you know? Oh man, I was just trying to do my thing, man. I kind of knew what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to be that ghetto corner rapper. You know, when I had my dreams of getting in the game, it wasn't just to get in the game and still be on the corner, like, you know? I wanted to do all of that, you know, and I know in order to do that, there's certain things that you have to do. It's just a way you could pinch it off and just add your flavor to it. I just wanted to show the versatility, you know what I'm saying? Show that me and Bone could do a joint together, me and Short could do a joint together, you know, R. Kelly, whoever, whoever, whatever. The way I was feeling when I did Ready to Die was, I feel like I was already dead, you know what I'm saying? Just. Being in a situation where my mom's working, going to school, just leaving me open to dip and dab into different things, you know what I'm saying? It just left me kind of stuck. My mentality was more on some getting paper, not caring about nothing else, not caring about nothing, just wanting to get mines, you know? I got the record deal, and when I started doing Ready to Die, it was a lot of anger, you know what I'm saying? I was just, was a lot of hatred coming out, you know? It was real, though, you know what I'm saying? But it was just real angry. Life after death is the flip side of things, you know what I'm saying? I can't rhyme about being broke no more, I ain't broke. Can't rhyme about hustling in the streets no more because I don't hustle no more, you know? So it's the life after, it's all that's over with now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't hungry no more. Now, it's a new beginning, you know what I'm saying? It's the life after the death, you know? <laughs> you don't want your kids to have it. <laughs> it's reality, man. It's something that you can't hide the truth, man. It's gonna be seen. This killings, I'm just, I'm, just a, I'm just a narrator, you know? I'm just telling the story, that's all. I ain't telling nobody, yo, you need to do this and you need to do this. I'm just letting you know, this is what happens and this is what happens. Can't be mad at me. Just get to know me, man. To know me is to love me. I was more in a mind frame of, keep your mouth shut, big, you know what I'm saying? Just don't feed into it. If you feed into it, it's gonna do nothing but escalate, you know what I'm saying? I knew it wasn't true. Well, at least what I knew I was getting blamed for wasn't true. I can't speak for nothing else. You know, I wasn't there. But I know what he was blaming me for wasn't true. So it don't make no sense me sitting there trying to make records or hit magazines and TVs screaming how it ain't true, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't true, I just gotta ig it, you know what I'm saying? Just, 
I got other things to do, man. You know? Yeah. And it's a funny thing. I kind of realized how powerful Tupac and I was. You know what I'm saying? Because we two individual people, we waged a coastal beef. You know what I'm saying? One man against one man made a whole West Coast hate a whole East Coast and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And that really bugged me out. Like, yo, Duke don't like me, so this whole coast don't like me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like him, so my whole coast don't like him. It just kind of let me know how much strength I had. So what I'm trying to do now, you know what I'm saying, with his un untimely demise or whatever, I got to be the one to flip it and take my, my power and flip it like, yo, they got to be dead, you know what I'm saying, because he can't do that. You know what I'm saying? He can't be the one to be like, yo, I want to squash it because he's gone. So I got to take the weight from both sides. That's why I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Right. We hitting every club, every radio station, you know. We get our little eye screws and everything, but I just tell them straight up, yo, you know you love me. <laughs> it's real. Come on. You don't got ready to die? There you go, you know what I'm saying? Just because that man had a beef with me or I had a beef with him, that don't mean you can't like me. Ask me what's going on. Ask me what's going on. And I'm going to talk to you just like you're a regular person. So I got to squash it. I mean, I was more shocked than anything. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't more shocked of him dying. I was more shocked of him. Pac is a strong dude, yo. I know Duke. You know what I'm saying? He's real strong. So when it was like he got shot, I was just more like, again? You know what I'm saying? He always getting shot or shot at. He gonna pull through this one again, make a few records about it, right. and it's gonna be over. You know right. what I'm saying? But when he when he died, I was just like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Kind of took me by. You know, even though we was going through our drama, I would never wish death on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no coming back from that. So it kind of turned me down a little bit. But at the same time, you know, you gotta move on. You know, I felt for his moms, for his family or whatever. But you know, things gotta move on. You know. I felt them. I felt them. I still feel them. You know, we got the records. You know, I'm out here every day. He run the radio station. I hear him, and I, every time I hear him, I feel him. So, he gonna be always be here. Well, right now, I'm just trying to, you know, kind of like master this rap game down a little bit tighter than what I'm doing. You know, this is just my second album, you know. So, I just want to just make sure that that's real tight after that. You know, I want to get my little clothes. I got a little clothing line started, Brooklyn Mint. And, um, movies, maybe, you know, whatever. The best, really, the best of it is being able to take my fam out, you know, and we just traveling all over the world, performing, ripping Coliseums. If I could give any MC a wish, it would be for them to rip 20, 30,000 to the front to the back like this you know what I'm saying just rocking for an hour just getting yours you know what I'm saying it's a good feeling it's good paper you know and it just feels good the worst was like we was talking about before just the rumors just the way people was all quick to judge me you know what I'm saying like you were saying first they was loving me then they was hating me but like I said it goes around you know what I'm saying you loved me you hate me now it's time for the love again you know it's gonna come back I never did nothing wrong so my hands call for love. I would never come off like that because I done seen so many rappers that was whoever they was and then when they dropped that whack joint, <laughs> the, the, the security at the club was like, who? You're not on the list. That's a hurting feeling, you know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather just have a, a personality that's charming enough where I don't gotta have no record out and they be like, oh Biggie, well everybody loves Biggie. Go on in. That's a naturally cool person, not just Oh, well, that's Biggie, so he cool. You know, I'm just a cool dude. Definitely. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, I just started, yo. For real. Just being off the street, not selling no more drugs, and not making my moms wake up in the middle of the night when she hears shots thinking that's her only son dead in the streets. I'm cool. I'm cool, yo. Just making her happy, knowing I'm on tour and I'm staying out of trouble. That's all I need, man. But I just started, man. It's going to be to a point where I'm just trying to get to that level where this rap music, it's going to always be everything to me, but I, want, I don't want it to be everything to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to get money off of other things besides getting on the mic. I don't want to be that 30-year-old rapper trying to rock a crowd. You know what I'm saying? It's a young 18-year-old dude doing the same thing I was doing when I was 18, making me look ridiculous. 
you know, I want to be the rapper to come out, make hit records, sell a millions and millions of records, and buy down gracefully like, thanks, I'm going to leave it to these dudes now and move on to whatever else I was planning on doing. Puff got the hottest joint. I just want my joint to be hot. I was like, I don't care what you do, man. Just came up with this concept of just police coming to get me again. And the chase is just real dramatic, man. Real dramatic. We on some, you saw the movie Rock. Remember that Ferrari Hummer chase? We trying to get there. Everybody wanted, everybody wanted to just get to that level, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to just be bigger at what they're doing. At least I know I do. I look at everybody else and, you know, they got the crystals and they got the pretty girls and they got the Benzes and everything. So that's kind of like, that's like the mediocre stage for everything right now. You want to just take it to that next level. That's what I want to do. Man, Diddy is cool, y'all. I, I mean, that's like more like a brother to me. You know, he makes sure I'm all right. I make sure he all right. I ain't got no kind of problems with Puff, for real. He handle his business. He makes sure I got money in my pocket. And that's all I ask, really. I just want to give a shout out to all my childrens, Tiana and Lil CJ, and my moms, and my whole family, everybody love me. Playboy Jay-Z, Jiggle, that's it.